All right, so this will be the final video in the series. It'll be a very short video. We're just going to uh, show you the final product and attach the code to the description of this video. So if you want to download the C++ code, uh, you should be able to find that attached to this video file. So thanks for watching the series. This is the resulting line trace that we ended up using. If you want to just copy that to get the same effect we are in the video. We also change the target arm length and the socket offset just to be able to see the trace line better. So to round out this mover series, uh, we will basically post this last video and include the C++ files for the grapple move mode so you can play around with it. This is by no means production ready. Um, it was more of a test to be able to add a movement mode in. And so, uh, we hit play. So we're going to switch to our extended pawn character. And then if we line up this big wall, press G. And then when we release it, the character moves to the location. And then stays here attached with the grapple until I press jump. And then they're released. So it's a bit wonky from an aim perspective. Uh, you probably have to do a lot with the camera angle, do something other than a line trace for visuals. Uh, but yeah, you can grapple up to a location, jump off it, and basically, you know, swing around the level. And over in the uh, log files, and I'll leave these in here, you can see the debugging uh steps that we added just to basically track that we were moving appropriately along that line that we were triggered into the grapple state from the transition that we started without a state um, and then from that point on we ticked with our state each time and then calculated what our desired location would be at that particular tick of that movement component and then eventually somewhere down here, we would exit. Um, once we reach the destination, we press jump. All right, so hopefully that helps for anyone playing around with Mover. Uh, leave a like or a comment, and uh, we'll try to explore some of the other new features as well. Thanks for watching.